Can I ask you two a question? Go on. So, in the midst of all of this, United qualifying for the final, we've not talked in a couple of weeks. What about last weekend? How do you feel about the Man United Liverpool scenario from last weekend with all the fan protests? Well, as United I, fans, it's uh, it's not surprising. I'm kind of glad to see some fight and some answers being requested or demanded from the board. It's a shocking but not surprising situation to see the board respond, not at all in some cases, or very little. Um, but the fans did the right thing, I think, in making some kind of change happen. They, they got the, the game abandoned, which I think was a statement, a massive statement. The biggest game we could play is Liverpool. The way they went about it is questionable. Um, a few of the fans took it far too far, um, which, which we don't want to see. But the point has been made. And the fans have got a lot of power. And I think United fans, especially, they're in so much, so many numbers, there's so many of us that we can make change happen if we want to. I feel like we're probably going to start seeing more board interaction because of things like that happening. How much is entirely up to the Glazers? I can't see them changing at all, hardly at all. They say that they want fans on board level decisions, but I can't see them doing the 51% sell off, you know, like in the Bundesliga model. That's just not going to happen at United. It's not going to happen in the Premier League because it's no. just not the way football works when it's this profitable. They're not going to sort of sacrifice more than half of their shares to fans, you know, even for the greater good. So do I agree with it? Yeah, wholeheartedly, you know, I wish I was there with them. Um, is it going to make a difference? <laughs> Maybe a small amount of difference short term. It's just got to happen in some way, shape or form, constantly and consistently to make voices That's heard. That's the difference, isn't it? I it's think not a flash in the pan. So far, you worry that it's almost been counterproductive because yeah. you saw the response from the owners. There wasn't one at first. Yeah, horrible. Yeah. Horrible to see. And all that mm -hmm. happened was now United have got a more congested fixture schedule before mm -hmm. a major final. So it needs to keep happening if anything, will change, surely, just yeah. without the violent approach. Because unfortunately, a lot of the message got lost as soon as that happens, which is the case in any protest, whether that be football or not. As yeah. soon as one person decides, I'm going to take this too far, press will spin it as this person took it too far, therefore they all took it too far. And the owners can go back to that as well, go, yeah, why are we going to listen to those fans who just put a police officer in hospital? And yeah. so that frustrates me a lot that it goes too far. But I will, I'll be surprised if nothing else happens. I thought even this weekend, the other clubs would do the same thing. Arsenal yeah. are about to kick off. I thought their fans might do something. I haven't seen what's happened there. But yeah, I think yeah. it needs United not being on their own for it to make the a difference. The only reason they've eventually come out with a statement is because the, obviously the, the news that's come out today is that United have lost the £200 million sponsorship deal with the Hook Group obviously for our training kit next season. Obviously, they've seen all these reviews that, you know, United mm. sponsors are getting on trust pilot and thought, oh, do you know what? This is too big of a risk. You know, we really actually going to get much from the field. That's the only reason the Glazer statement's come out because they're now thinking, oh, you know, you know, hit the fan and we, you know, it's, it's hit them where it hurts and that's in their checkbooks at the end of the day. That's yeah. The, and... That there's no, you know, absolutely nothing's going to change, is it really? You know, why would it change after 16 years, letting Old Trafford decay the way it has no. done? When it is in a bad shape. 16 years ago, we, uh, you know, we had the best training ground in the league. We had the best facilities, the best stadium. Everyone's mm -hmm. overtaken us. Everyone in the league's probably got better facilities than we have now. And you know, look at um, over the over the way at, uh, at the Etihad. They've got, you know. That mm. area, Gary Neville was discussing it, wasn't he, the other night, saying that area was used to be awful, like yeah. run down. Now it looks absolutely amazing, and they, they don't care. You know, they'll they'll let the stadium roof leak all they like. They'll probably let mm. all the stuff go down, and they probably won't sort them. They're not they're not bothered, they're not bothered about it. No, I was a little think... disappointed with Solskjaer's reaction to all of this as well. He just sort of came out and said, "Yeah, I've got a good relationship with the Glazers." Shows exactly why he's there, to be honest. Why Arteta is at Arsenal right now. Because clubs with, with owners like that are looking for yes men. They're not looking mm. for Guardiola or people that are available right now, Allegri, who come in and go, yeah, I'll take the job, but I want this, this, this and this. They're looking for people that are coming and go, OK, I'll do the best with whatever you want me to have. And that's really frustrating. Mm. I thought Solskjaer might have a bit more of a an empathetic approach with the fans rather than the people who are paying him. I was quite disappointed yeah. by that.
I think the coaches have more power than they realise, but I think Solskjaer mm. hasn't got that yet. I mean, mm. Klopp has got a lot of clout at the Liverpool, so I think he could really make change if he wanted to. Same with, with Guardiola. He is Man City right now, and if both yeah. of them left their clubs, then their whole project has just come falling down, wouldn't it? So mm. that would be a statement if they did something or said something. So I'm, I'm with you there, Miles. If they their clubs had done something or their fans had done something at the same time as United or not long after this weekend, that would have made a massive, massive statement. Yeah. But they didn't. So at the moment, United fans are sort of a lone voice against their owners, but they've always been against their owners. So they're just more vocal about it because they've got more of a reason to shout now with the Super mm. League situation.